Hey, how are we doing? Welcome to this um, video editor tutorial. I'm going to do a video editor versus in light tutorial. I was messing about with um, this little tripod I got sent for a Osmo Pocket. Um, it's okay. It's all right. Anyway, um, using an Osmo Pocket for a long time is good for filming. If you haven't got one, um, good cheap way of getting good footage. So let's have a look at this video editor that we're going to. I don't even know who makes it. So if I, I'll have a look. I'll put the, the the, the details in the comments below. But yeah, it's a, it's a free video editor. You can get a paid version. I'm just gonna pit it against Enlight. It's supposed to be really simple. It's a free version, you get ads. Why wouldn't you get ads? So, um, down the bottom you got right hand side, you got store, you got record. So you can record right from this, which is quite nice. Import, and then settings at the top. Let's have a look at the settings. Um, you can upgrade to pro, but restore purchases, all of that stuff, and give 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 good comment. You can only give good comments, you can't give bad comments. So if it's crap, you can't give a bad comment, you can only give a good comment. What's what's that? Anyway, let's have a look at this pro. What's it cost? Um, unlike all privileges, there's not that many privileges on the pro. Access to all filters, not that many more. Unlock all music, vast music library. So, disclaimer, I don't know whether or not the music that you unlock is copyright free. So don't go purchasing this on this thinking it's copyright free music just to do that, because I don't I don't know. Um, access to all stickers, stickers um, ongoing to update. So yeah, whatever. And then the price is £3.49 a month, <clears throat> £6.49 a year, £32.99 um, for a one-time purchase. I like the one-time purchase options. People are taking that away now and I quite like the one-time purchase option. Um, <clears throat> is it value for money? Far from it, um, in my opinion. That's my opinion, right? Based on this versus in light. In light, two ninety nine a month, blows this out of the water. The uh, the pro professional versions of both, should I say? So let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of that, and let me import something. So I'm going to click the little import button. I'm going to go to this video, and I'm going to import it. Why wouldn't you get another ad? Let me close that. Still got the ads across the top as well. So here in the um, on the screen, as we can see, one of the things it doesn't. You have to be in portrait mode as well. It doesn't do landscape mode, which is and like does landscape mode. I like working on an iPad. I'm, I want to put my iPad on a Magic Keyboard, and I can't because I have to use it this way. Is that a fault of the Magic Keyboard? Is that a fault of the? I don't know. A bit of both. Anyway, yeah. Let's get on. Um, when you select the video, it becomes white around the outside, and then you have two toolbars, one along the top here, one along the bottom. The toolbar, this, this first one on the far left-hand side, that just takes you back to the actual view that we're in now. Um, let's move along. Music. So you can add music to um, just simply press the music buttons, and then you can add any of these music, this, this music free. You can go into your iTunes. And as long as it's your music, it's not subscription, Apple subscription music, you can then download and get it. You notice I will have no music in there because I've got Apple subscription music, so it won't even show up. Um, you can go to the store and you can purchase music for 99 pence for a track. Um, if you haven't got the pro version, you can use, and these are just categories, vlog, um, daily, Christmas, winter and yeah the categories just go on so if you want to select a tune you add a tune to it you click the little um, the little tick button in the top right hand side and then you add music to it that way so next is text um, again very very limited with what you can do with text even on the pro versions so I select the text um, let me say the word just type the word waves click the little tick button now I can select the text and I can adjust if I click edit, I can adjust the size here on the right hand side. Alternatively, I can just pinch and squeeze, rotate the rotate the text, move it to where I want to move it. But you can't keyframe the text, so you can't edit the text. Or not that I've found a way to edit the text anyway. You can't, you can't edit the text once it's there, it's just there. So you play through the timeline. Bam, text is just there. What is that about? So um, anyway, I want to get remove that text, so make sure it's highlighted. Click delete. What's quite nice with the music? I should have showed you this. <clears throat> Go back to music and add. 
I did download a track somewhere. It was in this smooth. Oh, beyond this point, the ones with the crowd, the crowd, the crown are all pro um, categories. So let me choose this above the clouds. It starts playing. Click the little tick button on the right side. It adds it to my to my um, composition, right? And so if I want to move it, I press and hold, move it along. If I want to extend it, press the anchors, and this is how I extend it. I do that with a video track as well. So what is quite nice with this is the fading in and out of music. What you can do is you can click edit and you adjust the volume here, or you've got these two little fade in, fade out tabs. So you just press them, the little check boxes or little um, active boxes, active buttons, click the little tick, and now the music fades in just nicely over that over that period of time. Okay, so um, after the text, we did text, we then got the stickers. So again, you can just add stickers, you can add any stickers. One thing I did notice as well, I quite like this YouTube sticker. Look, you've got little social media icons for free, which is quite nice, I suppose. You can add there, whatever. Um, can you add more than one? I think you can. You just have to go click the little tick button, go back to, go back to stickers, little plus button, um, social media, and then you can add another one like that. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't want that one really. So let's let's not have that one anyway. So that's that. But again, you can't edit the social media buttons in in over time. You have a little watermark in the right hand side. I wonder if you can just leave the sticker on the right hand side, or whether the watermark will show. We'll have a look in a bit anyway, right? We'll see if we can do that. Um, so yeah, the stickers again, sort of limited, I suppose. Let's increase the size of that so we can't see that watermark. And then on the top right, we've got this um, sizing. So you can change the size to 16, 9, 9, 16, 1, 1, 4, 9. Or you can just um, crop it to an Instagram crop like this or YouTube crop. So that does it automatically. And um, and yeah, you'd save that out that way. You can add backgrounds and all, all sorts of stuff to the to the, uh, to the video. Um, and then let's go back to our original view. And then we're back at the video editing view, if you like. So we can split. We can split here and then we can add transitions, but there's only a few transitions and you don't get many more with the pro version anyway. Um, dissolve white or it just like a fade, click the little tick button. You can um, adjust the time that it fades in over or fades out over. So if we used to go back to that little transition, increase the time that it fades, click the little plus button, the little check button then it will fade in, fade out over a longer period of time. Um, you can adjust the, the speed the speed here um, by just dragging your finger up or down. You can rotate the canvas there, you can delete, or you can add a filter, I suppose. That's what people would be important and, and would find quite important. We have nine filters. Um, you can't really do anything with the filters, but what I do like is if you've got a clip selected and you've applied a filter, what you can actually do is let me show you you can apply that filter little um check button down here apply that filter to all of the clips which i think is quite nice little check to say yes that's what i want to do and then all of the clips will have that filter you know just there's no um there's not many sorry there's, there's there's not many more filters and all the filters after those initial nine are um, all pro versions or you can down if you select one you can just use that filter download it for 99 pence you don't want to upgrade to the pro um dollar in america whatever i don't know um it's not a lot of money anyway so so yeah and then you've got the revert so you can remove a reverse sorry not the not revert so it just reverses the video um you're not really going to notice much on this video um volume and you can copy the video so that's it. Based on that very limited app, what do I think it's good for? I think it's good for if you want to create Insta stories for free. Good for that, perfect for that. Um, you can't do much with the text, so I would create maybe the create the video in here, add any stickers that I wanted to add here, for any text or anything that I wanted to do later, maybe add that in the, um, in the story settings of um, of Insta, yeah. So yeah, um, based on the cost, how does it fare up against Enlight? It's not even in the same 
era. It's not even in the city. Yeah, it's it's miles away from. It's planets away from where in light is. Um, I don't like the fact you have to be portrait mode. I don't like the fact that you can't do anything with the um, with the text. I don't like the fact. Maybe it's going to get better. I don't know. I don't like the fact that it has ads. I don't like the fact that it's expensive. Um, but the free version to make Insta Stories, if you want a free video editor, it's worth checking out. I'll put all the details in the description below. Hope this has helped you out. I'll catch you all soon. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.